ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀ ನರಸಿಂಹಾಯನ್ ಮಹ ವಾಲ್ಮೀಕಿ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಕಿಷ್ಕಿಂದ ಕಾಂಡ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ದ ಕ್ರಿಮೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಲಿ ಸಮರಿ ರಾಮ ಹರೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸುಗ್ರೀವಾ ಟು ಪ್ರೊಸೀಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಫ್ಯೂನರಲ್ ಸರ್ಮನಿ ಆಫ್ ವಾಲಿ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೇಲಿಂಗ್ ಎಂಡ್ಲೆಸ್ಲಿ ರಾಮ ಟೆರ್ಸ್ಲಿ ಟೆಲ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡೆನ್ಸಿ ಆನ್ ದ ಎಟರ್ನಲ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಫೇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಅಬ್ಸುಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಸುಗ್ರೀವಾ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸಿಚುವೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅರೇಂಜಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಮೊನಾರ್ಕಿಯಲ್ ಫ್ಯೂನರಲ್ ಟು ವಾಲಿ at the final departure of her husband tara again laments ultimately wali's body is committed to fire for his voyage to heavens on a remote avenue chapter 25 in detail while a similar disquiet of sugriva is prevailing over rama and lakshmana rama palatively said this to sugriva and even to tara together with angada deceased will not derive bliss by sorrowful mourning hence it will be appropriate to arrange for that work which is subsequent in this matter only observances are to be observed thus you actively of tear shedding this far is justifiable it is impossible to undertake any other ritual work if the time is lapsed just by weeping fate is the cause of all the world fate is the instrument for action fate is the deciding factor for motivation of all beings in this worlds none is an instrument in motivating someone else to do something or otherwise none is also a controlling entity of others and even the world functions in its own nature and that time is cardinal for that world time will not transcend time neither time transgresses itself and on attaining attaining the nature endowed by time nothing can overstep its own fate time has no kinship thus it has no partiality there is nothing instrumental to override time hence nothing can override it and there are no causative factors to time that connects through friends or relatives hence all are equal in its view points but even the mutations brought forth by the time are observ- observable by a perceiver with a clear vision and the virtue wealth pleasure are to be pursued as culminated during the course of time that king of fly jumpers wali departed from here on attaining his own nature of subtle soul and he obtained poyas fruits connected with his one time actions befitting to a king like friendliness courteousness and forgiveness required of a king that great souled wali did not care to safeguard his own lives in combat and by virtue of his own rightness of a true combatant unworried of his life he acquired heaven which course the commander of monkeys undertook is the choicest course of fatality and hence enough is the sorrowing and let works incumbent on the present time be undertaken reverently so said rama to sugriva all the close of rama's sentence lakshmana the eliminator of braving fowls spoke this courteous sentence to the disconcerted sugriva Sugriva you attend to the funeral rites to be performed subsequently along with those two Tara and Angada and arrange for the cremation of Wali order at once for substantial dry firewood likewise for finest sandalwood for the purpose of cremation of Wali bolster up that miserable Angada who is heartbroken you too should not become frivolous in thinking as the city Kishkinda is now dependent on you let Angada bring wreaths different clothes ghee oil as well as perfumes and other items that are consequently useful in funeral and let tara you go quickly and come readily fetching a planicue of the dead for dispatch is a merit which is truly worthwhile especially at these times let suitable proficient and sturdy wanderers be at the ready as a bearers of the litter of the dead to carry away wali thus said lakshmana to sugriva speaking thus to sugriva that enhancer of his mother saumitra so delight and the eliminator of brave fowls lakshmana step, stepped off and stayed behind his brother rama on hearing the words of lakshmana tara's mood became hectic and she fleetly entered kishkinda with his mood formed up to get the litter of the dead Tara came back in a trice fetching the litter of the dead getting it carried by gritty and suitable wanaras 
that planicus having a majestic throne and in similar it is like a divine chariot which is adored and beautified with figurines of birds and trees in high relief from all over it is well set in which strikingly strikingly carved figures of foot soldiers and it is like an aircraft of the gifted souls namely siddhas with grills and ventilators well seamed in are its parts and also spacious it is and well cra <coughs> crafted by the crafty craftsman in its wooden play hills carved in its walls and finishing touches with a fine artistry of polishing are given to the planicu it is elaborated with best ornaments and string of pearls gems beads and the like and even with amazing flower tassels its cabin roof is covered with an ornamental woodcraft of red sandalwood it is well covered over with lots of flowers and in its shade it is like a tender sun while garlands of red lotuses are further brightening it and tara brought such a litter of the dead on seeing such a sort of planicure rama said to lakshmana let wali be taken away quickly and funeral ceremony be undertaken thereafter sugriva along with angada and others lifted up and then lost wali in the litter of the dead squealing awfully thus setting that deceased wali who is diversely decorated and adorned with garlands and clothes onto the planicue then sugriva the king of best fly jumpers has ordered let the funeral ceremony of this noble brother of mine be undertaken befitting to his magnificence let the vanaras proceed in one strewing various germs plentifully and the planicues afterwards in which way the grandiose of monarchical opulence will be conspicuous on earth when kings decease in a similar way the vanaras have to immortalize lord wali now sugriva ordered monkeys in that way on performing services to the dead in the same way as ordered by sugriva then all of those vanaras like tara and others have promptly started out hemming around angada keening over the dead relative wali then all the female adherents of wali came together and wept saying o brave one o brave one and repeatedly wept thus for their departed dear lady tara and all other female vanaras whose husband is dead followed the funeral procession wailing in a pathetic tone with the din of wailing of those vanara females in the interiors of the forest that forest along with its hindlocks appeared to be wailing noiselessly no noisily many vanaras have arranged a funeral pile of an unpopulated sandy isle around which brooks from the cascades of hills are encircling all of those best vanaras then lifted down that planicu from their shoulders and stood aside weltered in malankoni lady tara on seeing at her husband wali recumbent on the bear of the litter of the dead she then brought his head onto her lap and wailed painfully o oh, great king of monkeys o oh, my consort my dear o oh, meritorious one o oh, mighty one o oh, my dear see me why do not you see this grief grief stricken creature that is me though your lives have gone gone your face is appearing to be highly enchanting as if it has a similar dazzle of the sun on dusking mountain and it had when you were alive time god in the main of this rama is hauling you away o vanara on rendering all of us as widows by flinging a single arrow in the fight these are those female vanaras of yours o best king unable to come by leaping and jumping as they are wont to they have come threading a much lengthy way of yours why do not you mind them they with their faces like moonshine are your cherished wives isn't it what for you are not seeing the lord of fly jumper sugriva and this lady tara and others are all your ministers o king and even the people dwelling in kishkinda city have gathered around you and sinking down why do not you mind them bid good bye to this ministers as usual o enemy subjugator then when we all can sportfully wander in the woods in pleasure thus tara mourned mourned for wali while tara is enwrapped in the grief of her husband and wailing that way then other female wanderers who are equal equally haggard by grief have lifted her up and took her away from the body of wali 
Angada wailing along with Sugriva started to mount his father's body onto Pray in an involuntary way as his senses are deluged under grief. On giving fire to the prey procedurally, then Angada with dismayed senses performed circumambulations in an anti clockwise direction to his father, who is voyaging on a remote avenue. On cremating Wali procedurally, those best fly jumping Wanaras arrived at the propitious river with auspicious water to offer water oblation oblations to the departed soul. Those Wanaras on coming together along with Sugriva and Lady Tara and then locating Angada in their front, they have offered water oblations to the soul of Wali. He, whose sadness evened up with that of Sugriva and who became one with Sugriva in haplessness, that great mighty Rama effectuated the funeral rites of Wali on cre cremating Wali of lofty aplomb and manifest renown and whom the arrow of that Rama, the best of Ikshavaku dynasty, has eliminated. Sugriva then approached that Rama, who is with Lakshmana at his side and whose flare equals to a flaming fire. Thus, this is the 25th chapter in Kishkinda Kanda Valmiki Ramayana, the first epic poem of India. Sri Moolarama Vijayate Om Sri Krishnar Panamastu